Ford. Let's talk about your colleagues on the other side of the aisle, Republicans. How did they respond to Don Jr. invoking attorney-client privilege? So I think what's a mistake is to characterize what's happening in the Select Intelligence Committee is a purely partisan undertaking. There's no question, and everybody can see it for what it is, that there are varying degrees of enthusiasm from the majority party, especially compared to those of us who believe that this is an existential threat to the health of our democracy, i.e. Russian interference in our election, and we are duty bound to get to the bottom of it and to the truth of it. But the truth is, you can't paint all Republicans with the same brush. There are some who deeply believe that what the Russians did was wrong and they want to get at the truth. And there are some who believe that we have to come up with some recommendations about how we can protect ourselves against this going into the future. The truth is, the next general election in this country, the midterms, they're like 11 months away. So we need to get on with our work. Yeah. Uh, Congressman Denny Heck, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. You're welcome. When we come back, the president's son claimed attorney-client privilege when he refused to say what he and his father discussed about his Trump Tower meeting. Why would he need to do that? I'm going to ask two attorneys. That's next.